have a nice day. I am Mubashini. I have a nice day. One eight zero one zero two. Okay. For the introduction, in our in for the introduction in our project, we more more focus on the how the programming works in calculation area of the build that need to be concreting. And the second thing is the estimation of cost for the concrete based on the grade of concrete in in civil engineering field. So it is very important because through this application in civil engineering, we if the work. For the group of people like architect, structural engineer, quantity saver, and so so on. So this application act as a problem solving through the computer programming. It is to be very effective, time saving, and also it help the ease and speed up the workflow. Or also can say uh, work duration, work duration, and work period. And there are several objectives in our project in the study. The main the main thing is to suggest the new way method in civil engineering and the second thing is to make the problem that related to the calculation area of building they need to be correct concreting and estimation of cost for a concrete based on the grade of concrete and the third thing the third one is to make sure everyone got the benefit for this research yeah of course we believe we believe and we hope this application is more useful and very uh, gives more potential advantages to the in mainly in civil engineering we say. Yeah, this is our main uh, main scope of the project. That's all from me. Thank you. The domain name is not very interesting in policy. I will explain about Sudoku. Our book start declare of the shape. If if user input rectangular beam, input length, width, height, calculate the volume, display volume of rectangular beam. Uh, and lift selection, rectangular column, and then repeat the uh, input length, width, height, calculate volume, display volume of rectangular column. And then uh, rotation of the to the circular beam, circular column, and to the slab. And else is uh, invalid entry. And then for declare of grade, if grade is G10, calculate cement, cost, aggregate, fine aggregate, and, and price. Display price per meter cube for G10, mixture ratio, volume cement, volume fine aggregate, volume cost aggregate, price per unit. And then repeat for the elif grade, repeat for the grade. Another grade G15, G20, G25, G30, G35, and G40. Uh, else is invalid. And then input uh, the quantity. Calculate total price. Display the total price. And end. A very good greetings to our beloved lecturer, that is Dr. Go Wan Ying. I am So Tong Po. Today I'm going to present about the flow chart regarding to our project. So. Uh, from the start of the calculation, we will print the choices of the shape that we will provide the five shape here. Okay, so after we print the choices of shape, we will ask the user to input the the shape that he want to calculate. Okay, for example, if the user input circular column, okay, so we assume user wanted to calculate circular column volume. Okay, we will ask the user to input. The radius and height okay to calculate the volume of the circular column and then we will print the result so for all the choices is also the same logic okay so if the users input the data that is out of this range okay so we will print the invalid entry and then we will look back to a okay to ask the user to select to input the correct data that is uh, in the range that we are provided okay to proceed the calculation so we assuming the user is already input the right right input data so we will go through all of this and then we will go see here okay so before we ask the user to input the grade that you want we will print the choices of the grade first for user to choose Okay, so for example as well, if the user selected G20, we will calculate the price 
according to G20, for example, is 198 ringgit per unit, uh, per unit cube, per meter cube, sorry. Okay, so we will calculate the cement cost aggregate and fine aggregate volume of this uh, according to the mixed area ratio that represent by G20 as well. Okay, so we will go through all of this stuff and then we will print the result as well. So same t situation too, if the user input the data that is out of the range, okay, we will print in value entry and then we will look back to F, okay, here. So same, same too, we will ask the user to input the grade again that is in the range, okay. So we assuming that the user is already input the right data and then we will go through all of this process and then we will go to E. Okay, so because it is a different page, so I use the off and on connector. So we will go down here. Okay, we will ask the user to input the quantity that he want to buy. Okay, for example, 100 or maybe 50. Okay, so we will uh, calculate the total prices. Okay, quantity uh, times the per price per unit. Okay, so we will get the total prices here. So after the calculation being done, we will ask the user wanted to calculate again or not for order shape or same shape, uh, or same shape uh, also, okay? We will ask the user want to calculate or not. So if the user input yes, okay, we will look back to A. So A is the starting of the calculation. We will go through all wall, the wall calculation process again, okay, for the user to calculate again. So if the user's input no, we will end the calculation here. So if the user, same situation, same situation too, if the user input the input data that is out of range, we will go to G here, okay, that is here, okay. We will ask the user to input the correct input data to answer yes or no to sh to make sure that he wanted to calculate again or not. Okay, that's all for our four chart. Thank you. For the project of this school, I was responsibility to do the part of project coding. For my part, before we start the project coding, I have to find the grade and the prices of the concrete. So, concrete grade of the coding, we have grade 10 until grade 40. This is a table shows the grade of concrete, mix ratio and the prices for 1 meter cube concrete. To grade 10 until grade 40 of concrete. Then we move to the coding part. For the coding, we determine uh, the shape that are available are rectangular beam, rectangular column, circular beam, circular column, and slab. Firstly, we have to determine the shape that we want to calculate. Then we input the dimension and the shape before we get volume. So this is the example that we have to input the shape that we want. Uh, for example, rectangular column and the dimension is length, height and width. So after we get this three dimension, we can get the volume. After that, we can choose the grade that we want to use. So this is the grade that we have, which is grade 10 until grade 40. Every grade we already determined the mix ratio and the prices for 1 meter cube of concrete. So the mix ratio we have cement, cost, aggregate and fine aggregate. So let me show you the program running. Okay. So firstly we enter the shape that we want to calculate.
Okay, this is the valid calculation that I have done. So this I choose the rectangular beam and the length and the length 10 meter, that 2 meter, width 2 meter, and the value is 40 meter cube. So uh, for the grade I was choose grade 25 and the grade for 1 meter cube is 200, 208 ringgit and I get the, the mix ratio is 1 ratio 1 ratio 1 ratio 2 so the quantity the the quantity uh, I choose is 4 and the total price is 33,280 ringgit so this is the valid uh, valid program so I can show you now I show you the invalid program okay this is the invalid program Okay, this is the invalid program when I put the grade are not available not available at here grade 45 the program is invalid and the user need to redo again this program so that's all for me thank you hello doctor my name is Saranya and my metric number is CF1800 Okay, for to conclude about our group project, uh, the application of the Python programming in civil engineering, especially in the area of concreting cost estimation, it indicates that the uh, Python programming application eases the complication of the concrete costing process for the concrete structure, uh, such as uh, for the common concrete structure, such as for uh, column, beams, uh, slabs, and the footings. It also requires less time and uh, less uh, labor energy for the cost estimation, which only requires uh, uh, less uh, workers and a system or a computer to do the uh, cost estimation in very quick time. It, it is also very effective and a practical uh, technique for the cost estimation, which is just the and quickens the work process of the con construction professionals such as the civil engineering to help in the uh, designing uh, process where it, by providing the exact dimension and cost estimation for the for, for the for the uh, designing uh, process it also helps to smoothen the construction workflow of the concrete structure such as uh, as mentioned for the com uh, common concrete structure for slabs beams uh, footings and the columns which require in big amount for almost every building constructions. It also helps to reduce the cost consumption for the manual uh, cost estimation, uh, which require a very less cost and very less uh, time to do that. Thank you, Doctor.